Hello! Today I'm going to go through some factors that you need to think about if you're considering applying for medicine at university. My name's Cami, and I'm a second year medical student at the University of Birmingham. So medicine is a notoriously challenging degree, as I'm sure you know, and it requires a lot of careful thought and consideration before jumping straight in. And it's important to be fully informed and to understand exactly what you will endure, but also what you will gain from the degree. Having the right skills for medicine is so important, and I'll go through those later on in the video. I also definitely recommend that you talk to university teaching staff and healthcare professionals, as many people as you can, to gain all the information that you need and perhaps to get a better idea of the challenges that you might face. But you should always remember that some people can be biased and at the end of the day, it's your decision what you do and which degree you study and everything. So make sure you're not pushed too much by a certain person's beliefs or by their strong opinions. So before we get to it, let me know in the comments below what attracted you to a career in medicine. So what skills do doctors have and what might you need to be equipped with before starting medicine? So obviously a passion for medicine, you've got to love what you do and hopefully if you get some work experience you'll be able to see firsthand exactly how rewarding and fascinating a career in medicine is. So academic ability, the entry requirements for medicine are high, so you need to be studying hard at school to be able to get those grades and also to show that you can deal with the workload um, on a course in medicine. So you might have heard about the sheer volume of work that you get at medical school, but if you stick around till later on in the video, I'll give you a little tip on how to make this not seem so daunting. So communication skills, it's all good and well being really bright, but the patient side of medicine is also just as important. So you need to be able to talk to patients in a sensitive and tactful way, because that's what makes a good doctor. So teamwork and leadership skills, whether you're in a GP practice or in a hospital, you're going to have to work alongside a whole team of healthcare professionals. And that's not just doctors and nurses, it could be from the administration team through to the porters, the healthcare assistants, all the way up to the surgeons. So it's absolutely vital that you can work effectively alongside other people. Medicine is definitely not a one-man show. You need all of those people with you and helping you. So organisation. Again, you might be a really bright student and you might have excellent communication skills as well. However, all of this doesn't really matter if you can't prepare for your seminars, revise for your exams on time when you need to. Professionalism is so important in medicine, so you need to make sure you are well organised. So an ability to work under pressure. So in hospital, you're going to be working under a huge amount of pressure. Not only are the healthcare professionals working day in, day out to save people's lives, they're also working in a very underfunded system, meaning that there are often insufficient members of staff and resources, which does make it hard to provide good quality care to patients. So you need to make sure that you can work in this sort of environment and remain level-headed and calm. But don't worry, there are obviously lots and lots of positive aspects of medicine, so I promise I will talk about those later on in the video. <laughs> there are lots of amazing things about medicine and it's why I'm still here and finishing my second year of medicine. So here are some factors that you can think about which will hopefully give you a better idea of whether you think medicine is the right career for you. So firstly, job satisfaction. So do you love your job? What do you enjoy about your job? This is one of the primary reasons that attracts most students to medicine. So every day you're helping people and you're making a difference, you're talking to everyone, whether that be colleagues or patients, you're always chatting to people, it's really social and you really have to be a people's person. Whereas in, say, an office job, you're stuck in front of a screen all day, often sat down. I definitely know that an office job is not for me, so I was able to kind of narrow down my career choices quite a lot just from that. So next, the academic challenge. Are you ready for a challenging course and career that will push you and that will test your limits? There is so much exciting and interesting information that you'll learn at medical school. However, sometimes it can feel like there is a lot too much and it can be overwhelming. At university, as with 
any subject. The teaching is so different to sixth form. You need to be really strict with yourself and disciplined to be able to stay on top of your work throughout your degree. So you aren't guided through each topic and given the specific material and spoon fed as you might have been at school. You'll have 50 different lecturers each telling you everything they know about a really, really specific topic. And you can be really, really overwhelming having all this information being thrown at you, but you need to make sure you know exactly what to pick out and what you're gonna use and what is important. So my little tip as promised earlier, this might seem scary, but you don't actually have to learn everything. In medicine, it's so much more about the breadth of knowledge as opposed to the detail. So, I mean, I know there are some courses that may be more scientific and you need to know more of the detail, but in general, it's more about having a good idea of medicine as a whole, as opposed to, you know, specific enzymes, specific receptors, the, the real nitty gritty detail. It's so much more about the bigger picture. So this applies to any course you do, you should be interested in what you're learning. So you should enjoy the science. I mean, if you don't, perhaps medicine might not be for you, but um, yeah, you've got to enjoy what you're doing. And hopefully if you're learning stuff that you're really interested in and you're passionate about, each lecture should be interesting, you know, as, as much as it can be. We each have our preferred topics and other topics we don't like so much but you should be enjoying the majority of it and it shouldn't be so laborsome. So a last point, scope to travel. So medicine is a really highly respected degree across the world and that really opens up a lot of opportunities for you. So lots of doctors are going to Australia or America and this really offers an alternative experience and often better pay than the UK. So that's just something to think about, especially if you like travel or if you're interested in living abroad in the future. So you should now have some points to brew over and think about and hopefully you might have a better idea of whether medicine is the right course for you. But I really recommend, you know, brainstorming, writing everything out or, you know, um, just venting to a friend or a parent and, you know, telling them all the pros and cons. Even just talking it out will help you organise your thoughts in your mind a little bit better. This is a big decision to make so it is important that you think about it properly and that you chat to all the relevant people. Remember nothing is better than getting stuck in and getting your work experience and talking to all of the medical professionals there. Definitely try to get a better idea of the challenges you might face. There's nothing better than that. Remember if you need any help Medic Mind are always on hand. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time where I'll be going through a typical day of mine at medical school at the University of Birmingham.